she's restrained. She's seven now. And this has been going on for... Nearly four years. I've noticed a change in you. But I can't imagine what you've been through. Every day is like this. I can't go out. I've lost my job. My friends. My partner. I understand the child was born out of wedlock. And the father left? Yeah, when she was just three. This isn't a fashionable view these days, and only God can judge us, but such situations are outside the will of God. I took her to the hospital. The doctors, they, they diagnosed three conditions. These people don't believe in God. They do not understand spiritual matters. Tell me, did they help? Did anything change? No, they gave you their best guess and left you to it. I have seen and heard for myself the language and violence from that child. The ungodly spasms of her limbs. I see you broken by it before me. Do you deny the evil that resides in her? Can you go on? For years I've tried, but every day is a living hell. That's exactly what it is. And exactly where it has come from. Why won't God help me? Your child, born out of wedlock from a broken home, absent father. Is she even baptised? He wouldn't let me. Thanks to the sins of man, evil permeates this world. God protects first the righteous, the holy, the deserving. Look at me, Amanda. Look at me. I have done all I can to defeat this evil, but it is too entrenched. It cannot be removed. It will only get stronger. The child will suffer more. She can't take any more. I can't take any more. Oh, I know you can't. She's in agony and misery, which is why you must show her the ultimate mercy. I know you've thought of it before, haven't you? Haven't you? Yeah, but... Those thoughts are God telling you what you must do. You must rid the child and the world of this evil. It's an aberration to God that you've allowed it to fester. Your child, your offspring, is permeated with this hate and malice, spreading its evil amongst God's people. God would want me to do such a thing to a child. It's not a child anymore. It was your decisions that led to this. It's your responsibility. Did God not sacrifice his only son? Did God not allow his own child to die to rid the world of sin and evil? And what makes you so special that you can't end a demon that is torturing your child? You must show your daughter mercy. You must end her suffering. You must end the evil. You, you must save her. You will 
center into God's arms and everlasting peace. Only a mother's love can set her free now.